Whoa! That's right, we're going to be eating this dramatically cooked food that you just saw. That's Tokyo Station, just about a couple hundred meters behind me. I'm heading to a restaurant in Nihonbashi that is famous for serving Iwate cuisine from the prefecture up in the north in Dohoku. Where exactly is Iwate? Check it out. So here we are, this restaurant specializes in Iwate cuisine, mm. particularly the town of Kuji. Kuji. Right. And I'm looking forward to this because even here in Tokyo, so far away from Iwate Prefecture, you can still get the local food prepared by a chef from that region, which is incredible. What we have in front of us is, uh, gosh, came in this little box. What is this called? This is this whole thing. Yeah. This is called Otoshi. So it's the same thing you get at like a when you go to a bar, izakaya or something, they always give you some little food at the beginning. Right. This is a pretty serious restaurant when this is the otoshi. This is super high level. This is the otoshi? Usually <laughs> it's just like a little cup. This is, you're right, this is some serious stuff. And this is some, some serious otoshi right now. Wow, we got snail tofu and various <laughs> garnishes here on the side. Yeah, cheesecake tofu. Cheesecake tofu. Cheesecake like tofu, so it must be pretty thick. Yeah. And then we got the little fish jacko. Yeah. Called jacko. And then something about um, potato noodles, and then your little shellfish here. Uh, tonight we're going to be having special wagyu from Iwate Prefecture as well. Yeah, the, and they gave us this, this plushie, <laughs> which is a wagyu. It's also some action in the kitchen. And, yeah, and some harmo harmonica. Harmonica fish. So it's the fish itself is a swordfish, right? And it's very rare that you eat like the bottom of the back fin or something. So this part of Tohoku, I mean, they were hungry, you know, forever, all the time. So pretty much ate everything they could get their hands on. Right, so it's very wasted. rare. Nothing was wasted. So it'll be interesting. It's shaped like a harmonica. The this, this sake, this is um, called what? Nambu Bijin. Nambu, Nambu Bijin. Bijin. Bijin Nambu meaning beauty. Beauty. So Nambu was the old name for this area. Nambu. Okay. So a lot of things from Iwate, you'll have the Nambu name on it. Like Nambu Teki are those really cool kettles that they have, those iron kettles. Nambu Bijin is the sake from the area. So Nambu will be on a lot of stuff, and people wonder why. Yeah, I had to, today we had the Nambu Sembe. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Yeah, which That's was exactly. really good at the store, uh, uh, the Iwate satellite store in Ginza. Yeah. Well, let's give this a try here. Okay, have I think some... it's in here. So we're drinking oh, okay. it cold. Oh, okay. Oh, right. We're drinking it cold. Look at this cool, like, thing. And it's got ice in there, like snow. That is very cool. Okay. Shall okay. I give it to you? Yeah, here you go. And look at the pretty glass. Okay, wow. and I can't put it down. Look at that. You can't put it down, so you have to keep drinking. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that why? <laughs> That's I don't smart. Know. It looks like a weeble. Weeble wobbles, but they don't fall down. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Into the snow. That's so cool. Kanpai. Kanpai. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. My first initial taste, it is quite sweet. There's a you definitely get a fruity sweetness at yeah. first. Very, it, it's a long taste. It kind mm -hmm. of draws out and mm -hmm. then it slowly dissipates on the back of the of my palate, anyways. Mm -hmm. And. Um, don't get that a really strong alcohol taste. No. It's not so dry, is it? It's almost like a syrupy kind of feel. Right. Like it's, do you describe this as body? Like there's a full body if it was wine. It's like a, a rich taste. Yeah, I, I, I get that too. Yeah. Mm. It's quite nice. I like this before the meal. This would be great sake. You're right. It almost that. tastes like one of those um, pre-meal like liqueurs that you drink. Right. Yeah, yeah. like a liqueur. Which yeah. Is, um, you know, sake, all the different regions, you get all these different kinds of, of flavors and tastes, which it makes it so exciting to eat. Um, yep. let, let's try this, what we have in front of us, huh? So this is a pretty high-class restaurant you brought me to, John. I'm psyched. 
I, I didn't really know <laughs> the class <laughs> of the restaurant. I would have dressed maybe even a little better. Well, when I checked the website, it said dress code. And I'm like, whew, I better oh, dress really? up. So I've got my business oh. activity on here right Gosh, now. Gosh, well, I, I, oh. I failed in that part there. Okay, and they even have right, little fruit yeah. on the hashioki. I saw that. We got a, I got a yuzu and you got a tomato. It, yeah, a tomato. Surprise, it's not cabbage. <laughs> you oh, want this very Cabbage man. Order. Yes. Yeah. My friend's up there in Iwate Machi. Cabbage man. Oh, this smells so nice. It's got a um, like a, a essential oil of mint. Yeah, or yeah exactly. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. We go in here for this uh, cheesecake. So they were telling us that there's some kind of sake called Hia Oroshi Zake. Mm. Cold pressed sake so the most raw but you can only get it in autumn so we can't get it today so that's why we're having nambu bijin but um that's what's really special about iwate supposedly oh man i love ah. whoa Ooh. Oh. Tataki desu ka? Wagyu tataki. Oh. my brother you ate my brother stop it uh. <laughs> Might have, sorry, to, sorry. might have to cut that out, <laughs> Ruth. All right, we'll leave it in there. All right, the, the tataki is, is quite famous for uh, uh, bonito fish down in Kochi. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how I know tataki, but you don't, tataki can be made with other meats. It doesn't have to be with one particular. And this part of the wagyu, which is very unique, there's not a lot of fat on it. It's a very lean kuroge wagyu. You always know the, the marbling in there. Not a lot of marbling because it's from the front part of the wagyu. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Not quite sure what, what it's called in, in English, the part of the, the wagyu from which it comes from, but very little marbling, um, but I'm sure it's going to be really delicious. Look at that presentation. It came with, with some uh, garlic chips on there, a slice of lemon, so you know it's going to be um, a very unique way to eat wagyu, I think. Yeah, I would ne I've would. i never eaten it like that before. Now, You're right, no marbling. No marbling. I'm going to take you back into the kitchen. Take a look at how at, this is prepared. Yeah. There's some fire involved. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Iwate Wagyu oh, yeah. brand. Very famous cow. Very famous cow. Wagyu tonight, isn't it? Same, same. Yeah, this is uh, Iwate Wagyu. This is from a very healthy piece from like the, the arms. There's 20 kilograms of this meat in the front of the yeah. Hey, whoa! What is this? Iwate! Nice. I just said, now we gotta eat what we just see here. So cuddly and cute, and now we have to eat the wagyu. So we're gonna be eating this this part of the wagyu right now. <laughs> this is a plushie. It's a little bit different, not, not like the real thing. Uh, so Iwate, in fact, Tohoku has some really delicious wagyu. This piece here coming from the front of the of the wagyu. Very healthy, not a lot of uh, fat in there. But again, this is kuroge wagyu. Looks like we get some uh, oil in there. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Lightly salt it on the front and the back. The fry pan looks like it is ready.
，他是了解他们的。哎，啊，嗨，没有。So this is uh, eaten uh, rare, so it's not going to be cooked too long. Wow, that smells so good. So they gave us a sauce here. I guess this is the dipping sauce for this wagyu, right? Yep. It's ponzu. Ponzu, okay. Ponzu you can get in the States. No. I guess we put a little bit of this um, daikon on it like this. Yeah, it looks like some kind of radish. And then I'm going to put the little daikon over oh, here. the garlic, okay. Garlic. With a little couple of these little green things. Mm. I wish everybody was here to eat this with us. <laughs> I know. I will eat it for you guys. Itadakimasu. That piece was just for me. <laughs> Next one's for you. Well, definitely tastes almost raw. Mm. It's cold. It's not hot. Yeah, he put it in the refrigerator to give it some rest. Mm -hmm. After it had been flame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like grilled, you put a little bit of alcohol or something on there that just brought out the flame. I think it was a wine, maybe. Mm -hmm. Can't really taste it, but it's chewier it than is. It wagyu is. meat because there's not a lot of fat and it doesn't break apart the same way. That's so true. Mm. I bet you they would also dry this as like a, a food to get you through the winter kind of thing, like a jerky. You could make this into a jerky pretty well. You very, you very well could. And, um, Again, like I, this is a lot more. Meat. When it came, when he brought it out and showed it to me, it looked like a lot more meat than what we see here. Okay. Um, when it's cut up, it, it it looks like it's manageable to eat. But I said that that was like, looked like like three hundred grams of wagyu. Yeah, look at that. You can wow. roll it up like that. When you roll it up, you have that bite of like gorgeous whatever you've put on top in the oh, middle. Oh yeah. It's like a tataki sandwich. Almost like a roast beef, no? Yeah. Yeah. Almost, right? but, but not like you could pull it apart, not dry, like mm. a roast beef. Mm. It's still moist. It's really moist. Mm. It's delicious. That's out of sight. Oh, and this is supposed to match the sake, right? And it does. Because this is sort of um, like a drier taste in the meat. It's not a heavy taste, but mm. this one is sweet like and syrupy, like you said. It's good balance. Yeah. It's sitting all the different parts of the palate, which is great. Mm hmm. Mm. Which one do you like, the garlic or the red daikon? I, I like the daikon. Me too. Uh, the Japanese radish is a little bit more natural tasting. The garlic's overpowering. I it's think I might have put kick. too much on there. Mm -hmm. You know what? Which, what? What? What are the things that I love about Iwate Prefecture is the best time to visit. I, I guess we can agree on this. Might be the fall. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's when they're doing inekari, which is the rice harvest. That's around October, November. Uh, before that, from September to November, you, you'll see at times before they harvest, it's just so golden, isn't it? 
and there's an, it's a never-ending view of gold when you're riding on the Tohoku Shinkansen cruising through uh, Iwate Prefecture. So it's just really beautiful. lovely. But a lot of people don't get off of that Shinkansen track and go over to the coast of Iwate Prefecture. Right. That's where there's a lot of hidden gems. Well, if you if you get off the train at Morioka, mm. which is in Iwate, right? You just go straight to the right. Yeah. Go east. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so train, you go east. east. I think there's a tiny town called Taro. Mm. And that was hit very hard by the tsunami. So the other day when we went, we rented a car in Morioka. So you go from Tokyo to Morioka, rent a car, drove that way, and then drove down the coast through all the different little towns. Mm. And the roads are perfect right now. Maybe the best season to go up there. Oh. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did that just happen? <laughs> on this check this out look at that everybody remember it's always okay to ask because if you eat it right it tastes better like there, it looks like there's a lot of bones in it right yeah so we want to be careful see my son we're asking it's cool the chef is just over my shoulder <laughs> he knew we, he knew we were gonna ask he knew it okay so here we go example let's try Oh, let's try. Oh, okay. So just pull the pieces of meat, come straight off of the bone right here, slides right oh, off. Boom. Yeah. Not all. This is the kajiki. Kajiki. Yeah. Okay. So this is the base of the fin on the swordfish. So Whoa. this is the. Uh, so this is the muscle that moves the fin on the top of the fish. Oh, so wow. the base. Oh, That's so see, interesting. You have to see this meat. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Ah, the tabekata was the harmonica. Ah. It looks like you're playing a harmonica. Ah. Okay, so he just said that this is not in the marketplace. You can't buy it in the marketplace because the fishermen take this part for themselves. Oh, wow. Before they put it in the market. It's rare. Oh. It's rare. Only. Only. Tokubetsu. Tokubetsu. Special. Wow. This is pretty incredible. Again, look, look, look how big of a piece of fish oh that, is that comes off there. Usually when I get fish on, on a plate like this, you're just picking little pieces of it between yeah. the bones and not, yeah. whatnot. This came out as massive chunks on its own. And there's no bones inside that, there's so you no don't bones. have to worry. I wish Kanai-san was here. Kanai-san. She's going to kill me when she sees this video. <laughs> I'm going to have to bring her another day. And on the website it said no takeout, so I guess you have to bring her. Wow, oh, this is crazy. With as, the daikon too, you gotta try it with the daikon. As Hana would say, it's cray cray. But Hana can't eat this anymore. Hana would like the cucumber. Mmm. We'll give her the lemon. Yeah, give her the lemon. Okay, try with the daikon. Yeah, yeah. Outstanding. Outstanding. Wow. You know what? I think I like it plain. Yeah, just, the just fish. as it is. Just as it is. So this is sake steamed scallops. Yep. From a city called Noda, which is on the coast there. 
really delicious looking dish. And it was one of the most famous NHK dramas. And this is what she ate often mm -hmm. in the drama. In the mochi. There's walnuts in the mochi? Walnuts and uh, uh, black sugar, dark brown sugar. Wow. Wow. Mmm. Piece of mochi in the center. Walnut. Never had anything like that before. This is super healthy. I, I think. If I if I lived in Iwate, I'd be in a lot better shape. <laughs> just, just, the food is just so healthy up there. And look at this sushi here. This is incredible. Again, the rice up in Iwate in, in Tohoku is very good. So you got the fish and the rice. It's going to be excellent sushi. Just a taste of some of the food that you'll get if you go up to Iwate. Again, I, I think some of the best chefs in the world are here in Japan. When they get their ingredients, they usually will source it from places like Tohoku because the Tokyo restaurants here got to get the, the best of the best, right? Well, you know that Tokyo has the most Michelin stars of any city in the world, right? Mm. And they're getting all their ingredients from other parts of Japan. Totally makes sense. Tohoku is, Tohoku. is uh, I guess we would call it the, like the vegetable stand yeah. of Tokyo. <laughs> it's true. Uh, it is. Good, there's some good stuff up there. And they're, it's good because there's such a difference in temperature. That's why the sake is good. He was telling us earlier, right? The sake is good because it gets really cold. It gets really hot. Fruit is also good because of that. Yeah. Mm. If, if you are coming in Japan, I, I highly recommend staying up there. Maybe just spend another night because to eat because you're going to find restaurants up there. And if you're in Tokyo and you can't make it, check out this restaurant. Again, they're moving too, by the way, to another location. I'll put the, look, the link in the description of this after they move and we have the, the location of that if, you, if you'd like to come here to visit uh, Sakamoto-san's restaurant, Uenoyama, which means top of the mountain. Right. Did I get that right? Top of yeah. the mountain, Uenoyama. Thank you so much to Sakamoto-san, who was kind enough to get, let us uh, into his kitchen and show us the pre 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 preparation of the food. And uh, thank you so much to Ruth, who, yes. who joined us here today to give us a lot of insight on Iwate Prefecture. Great and thank to you see you Thank you for watching. Guys. Leave me a comment below what you thought of this, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. More sake. <laughs>